Hello guys, me Karn Sensors and Karn Karn and welcome to another edition of F1 2021 Career Minutes. Um, I did my first video clip today, which is the Monza and Dutch Grand Prix. So now, this is basically only the Russian Grand Prix from Sochi. So, as you saw in the practice sheet, I did very well, even though it was rainy conditions slash overcast, I believe. I was the fastest one. It gave me confidence that I'll do well in the race. Well, qualifying will do... <laughs> what should uh -huh. I say? It's gonna take care of itself. So, qualifying will take care of itself. So. Yep. And... Spoiler alert. I was on the pole. So, basically, here's my qualifying lap, which is a pole, and, you know, not a surprise that I'm doing well in most of the racetracks that I have to do well at, so. It's still considered a street course, so, you know, as I keep running lap after lap after lap, I just realize, yeah. I have to hit my marks, do the best I can, and just be myself, you know? I'll be like real rabbit and say, Oh, hey, you beautiful napkin. Or, <laughs> what do you say, pepper napkins? <laughs> and he always finds a way to entertain people, whether it's F1 or NASCAR, so. We're gonna get the NASCAR game, guys. If you pre ordered it, it's October 26th. But for everybody else, I'll take the 28th, so I already pre-ordered mine digitally, so I get to play Tuesday, but the advantage is I have a big exam that I have to study for my management class, so yeah. To be honest, <laughs> I think I will not be uploading any videos during exam week, which is around Halloween weekend, so don't be discouraged if you don't see my video clips then. So. Like, I have to hurry up and upload the Hot Wheels on Leech video clips too, because, like I've said in the previous videos, I have to study for quizzes, tests, and do all my radio assignments, with them, which are very, very long, you know. Like, whenever I take notes from a certain textbook, I just type, type, and type, and it's just endless, you know? Like, 20 to 30 pages of reading notes. That's not fun, but I like doing it anyways, so... It's a back to F1 racing. Mm, let me see where I am. 12, yeah. This is just a qualifying lap, so... I'll just show you around one of the... Mm, I think this is still round one, because it says 12 on the scoring pile for us. And as I go through this fast straightaway, yeah, fast, yeah, I call it a straightaway. <laughs> I have a good lap here, break very smoothly, and... Let's see if I can get a hot lap in. Let's see. Run a little bit wide. And biff. Not bad. So, that's basically it. So, what you'll guys see in this uh, Russian Grand Prix video is you'll see me come towards the front and actually, yeah, that's all. So. This is starter race, so um, I won't be commentating the whole way, but yeah, I'll just stop here. I know you guys say, oh, why is he leading the race? Well, so that's it's because, you know, <laughs> it's just all about being the next Lewis Hamilton or Max Verstappen, so kind of working your racecraft when you're in F1. <laughs>
or any road course, so make it happen turn that fun. Y'all have a great day. Peace out.
Hamilton has just put up the fastest lap of the race so far.
great effort there from Ferrari to take the victory today. Anthony Davidson, a resounding victory today. What set them apart from the rest? Well, they played the safety car to absolute perfection. There are so many factors to worry about once the race is neutralized. I mean, do you pit for fresh rubber? Do you have the space behind you? How much fuel can you save? If you answer all of those questions correctly, you'll have a good chance. And that's exactly what happened today. Looking at the podium, you can see that red suit familiar to fans across the globe. A world-class win for a world-class team. Ferrari do it again. And now let's take a look at the driver's standings. Well, the gap at the top of the championship has been cut down after a difficult race today for our championship leader. Some amazing talent out on the track today. But Anthony, who would you pick as your driver of the day? Fernando Alonso. Wherever he is, whatever team he's in, when is he not just brilliant? He'll give you a performance every time, just like he's done today. Let's move on to the constructors. The lead at the top comes down after a strong weekend from the challenging pack. Meanwhile, good work from Aston Martin in this weekend who push themselves further up the order after an event like that who knows what the sport has in store for us next time be sure to join us again as we continue to bring you the latest excitement in formula one So we're coming to the end of my YouTube video right now, so give a thumbs up button if you like the video so much. Click on that bell button to subscribe for more content, and if you saw the recent video interesting, share the comment right below the description so you can share some thoughts and feelings with everybody in the community and make them feel welcome. So okay. I make a happy Corona night five. You'll have a great day, and peace out.